All right, a little while ago, I received uh, these two DVDs in the mail here and a letter explaining this. I'm going to read the letter and talk about these a little bit. Um, Salvation Pictures is the name of the uh, video company here. Not video company, but whatever you would want to call it. Um, video ministry, I guess. Dear Brian, at some point in your life, you probably heard of a guy named Peter Joseph. I did not, actually. Several, several years ago, he made a docu documentary called Zeitgeist, the movie, and it actually made, became the most watched internet video in history. I had heard of the Zeitgeist, Zeitgeist movement, but I'd never really looked into it. I didn't know the guy's name. So I learned some things from this whole deal here. Um, his film explains a theory that all of the stories in the Bible were copied from the ancient Egyptians and that Jesus Christ is just a mythical character based upon Horus the sun god. Well, this film became so popular that millions of people around the world abandoned their faith in Christianity. I absolutely can't stand Peter Joseph, and I'm sick and tired of people saying that Jesus Christ never actually existed. I can't tell you how many times I've heard someone say that to me with a smug grin on their face. Yeah, I've seen that kind of a thing. I heard, like I said, I heard a little bit about the zeitgeist thing and the blasphemy and whatever else, but I just never really looked into it. Um, so... Uh, there are several people on YouTube who have tried to debunk Peter Joseph's claims, but they don't really address the more complicated topics in his film. So I decided to produce my own film on the subject that I think will help a lot of people understand the truth about Christianity. I've sent you a copy of my new film, Zeitgeist Destroyed, and I hope you watch it with your family and show them what a clever liar Peter Joseph is. Um, I think calling him a clever liar is kind of a <laughs> doing him some justice there. The guy, I mean, after watching the video... Peter Joseph's a pretty big idiot, actually. But um, I also sent you my other film, I, Pet Goat 2, Mystery Solved, because it was actually inspired by the lies of Peter Joseph, and it also confused millions of people around the world. Honestly, this film is, is sort of creepy, so I wouldn't recommend showing it to young people. And it is, you know, there's a few scenes in it that are definitely inappropriate for children, but we'll get back to that in a minute. If Zeitgeist Destroyed makes an impression on you and you feel that the world would benefit from this knowledge, maybe you'll mention it on one of your YouTube videos someday. The more people that know the truth about Peter Joseph and his filthy lies, the better. I think every Christian in the world should know this information so they will be able to defend their faith against our enemies. God bless you and your family, and thanks for sharing your faith with the world. Um, and he signs his name. So, um, did watch both of them. It's... Uh, probably about two or three weeks ago, but, you know, work piles up and whatever else. But uh, I'll say a little bit about this one first, this iPet Goat 2. It's kind of a really weird, creepy cartoon thing. I saw it when it came out, and it was just really, you know, you look at it and you think, okay, there's a lot of very, very weird imagery in this thing, really disturbing stuff. You know, you just kind of get the impression that whoever made the thing is just filled with devils. You know, just really, really disturbing. Um and I think the guy is the guy that, that made the video, not this brother that put this video debunking it out. But, you know, um, if you're interested to know some of the stuff there, um, basically it's about the downfall of religion, essentially, is what this devil worshiper put together, this I, I Pet Goat 2 thing. And, um, you know, he goes through, this brother here with Salvation Pictures, he goes through and he you know, debunks the whole thing and shows, you not, I shouldn't say debunks, but shows the symbolism and things there and whatever. So if you're curious about it, that would be a good video for you. Um, and I'm not, you know, saying I endorse everything that this brother says or whatever else either, you know, just make that clear. But I, I appreciate it when somebody puts time in to make a, a video like this and like the other one and says, hey, what do you think about it? I'm going to be honest with my review. Um, this one here was really good. Okay, the zeitgeist destroyed. I think this would be a good one if you have family members or whatever that are curious about this, uh, this whole zeitgeist thing, and they say, oh, zeitgeist, you know, destroyed Christianity. Well, uh, actually, no, it didn't. Um, Peter Joseph is just an outright liar. I mean, unreal, some of the stuff the guy made. You know, any, any, I remember the one part in particular really stuck in my head. He's showing all these these areas where, He's comparing Egyptian mythology to the, what the Bible teaches, and he's showing a couple of them, and he just speeds the list up so you can't even read it. And this guy goes in, and he actually pauses it and shows some of the, the comparisons. And the guy, this Peter Joseph guy, is saying that the Bible teaches certain things about Jesus, 
And it, you, anybody could look at the thing and say, the Bible doesn't teach that. He totally lied. I mean, just totally fabricated lies about the Bible. And you're, you, you know, just looking at it, you think, this isn't even true. I mean, it's, it's incredible. And he gets into a lot of the ancient, you know, pagan myths and whatever else and, and shows that Peter Joseph lied again and again and again and again. So, um, and a lot of it, you know, I've confirmed with uh, my own research and things. So, um, you know, not about the zeitgeist thing, but in, in other things too. Um, so it just, like I said, if you have relatives that are just, that have been deceived by the zeitgeist thing, then I'd recommend this one. It's pretty good. Uh, the only issue I would have with this thing, um, he uses the King James Bible, so that's good. The only issue would be uh, footnoting. I would, you know, some of the places where, you know, he says, uh, well, this, you know, quote says this or that quote. It'd be good to give a footnote right there on the video. That's the only thing I would have done differently. Um, so, but it just, you know, this video just destroys the whole zeitgeist propaganda film. So, um, would I recommend these? Uh, yeah, I would. I would. I uh, think that they're, you know, pretty good stuff that, uh, can be used to, you know, answer some of the questions that people might have about the zeitgeist and the iPet goat too. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.